So we're going to do another, we're going to do a session with the ball, which is mainly working the core, um, but it's going to be all mat work. Uh, so here we go. So the first one we're going to do is put the ball between the ankles, stretch the legs out so they're all in line, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle. For this one you want to be down on the side of the arm. This hand supports you so you keep the body 90 degrees to the mat and we're just going to lift and lift and lift. So you'll feel this running through the obliques. So three more to do. That's good. Then we're going to roll over and do that on the other side. So again, make sure that you're lined up. So a straight body and the, your torso 90 degrees to the mat. Using the top hand to support yourself. And we're gonna lift and drop. Try and remember when you lift, just a pause at the top. So some people find this a little hard on the hips. If you do, you can put a folded towel or something like that under there. Two more. So from here, we're going to roll onto our backs. I'm just going to move my mic, otherwise that's going to hurt. Bring that round to here. Okay, so from here, you're going to come onto the mat, push your belly button down towards the spine. There shouldn't be a gap under here now. Your back should be protected. So we're going to take the arms up above the head, legs point to the ceiling. You're going to lift up, put the ball between the ankles, then reach away and take it down and bring it back up. Now, if when you take your legs away, it pulls the back or hurts, then only take the legs as far as is comfortable for you. So if you get your legs to there and you feel your back lifting, then that's your limit. And you just bring the legs back up. So yours might look like this. And that's fine. If your core is stronger, then you can take the legs further away. But at whichever point your back starts to lift, then that's the limit for you. Okay, we'll just do a couple more. Can make this the last one. So from there, we're going to bring, bend the knees, bring the heels towards the bum. Ball goes between the knees. You're going to push into the heels, peel the tailbone off the floor first, lift the pelvis, reach up with the fingers, lift, squeeze the glutes at the top. Make sure to keep squeezing that ball. Hold at the top and then slowly bring it back down, really reaching through the fingertips as you bring your arms back to the side, pelvis tips, tailbone is the last thing to touch back down to the mat. Take it back up again. Make sure your feet aren't disappearing away from you. Getting those hips as high as you can. Thinking about making each vertebrae lift as it comes up, as 
as high as you can, reaching through the fingertips. And we'll do two more. Okay. Right. Bit of a challenge one. The ball now goes underneath the feet. Okay. I've not had one of these burst on me yet, so let's see. So from here, this time the arms stay by the side and you're going to lift up, squeeze the glutes at the top, hold, slowly come back down, lift up, slowly come back down. Again, it's the same movement, make sure that each vertebrae is being moved, pelvis tips at the bottom, and then the tailbone is the last thing to touch down. Shoulders stay relaxed, you're still breathing. Make sure the arms are relaxed if they're by your side. Okay. If anybody wants a challenge, they can always try a single leg version of this. And change sides. So there are always options to make these easier or harder. So if you are nearly there with this but are finding it a bit of a struggle, you can do this on one with one foot down and one foot up. And then change. So we'll do just two more of these. And the last one. Sometimes get some strange noises out of the ball. Okay, and then from here, you're just going to rock back up to sitting. And that's it. You should feel like your legs and abs have had a little bit of a workout. And that's it for today.